Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my pitch. This is Kat. Today I'm going to be pitching Insight Enterprises, ticker NSIT on the NASDAQ. Let's get started. Insight is headquartered in Temp, Arizona and was founded in 1988 with their IPO in 1995. Insight is a global information technology provider primarily with revenues coming from North America and Europe. Their clients range in a number of different industries, including healthcare, federal government, state and local government, service providers, higher education, K-12 education, enterprise business, and small to medium business. They categorize their solutions into four categories, digital innovation, clouded data center, data center innovation, connected workforce, and supply chain organization. In each of these categories, they sell hardware, software, and conduct services for their clients. Hardware makes up about 60% of revenues, while software and services make up 27% and 13% respectively. Insight has made it their mission to architect, design, implement, and manage IT solutions that enable digital readiness and drive business outcomes. They do this with an understanding that in the current innovative business environment, every business is a technology business, and the technology each business uses must be tailored for the client, industry, etc. The IT total addressable market is $3.7 trillion and will be $4.3 trillion by the end of 2023 or beginning of 2024. Insight's addressable market is about $670 billion, which they have tapped into around 1% of. There are currently five megatrends in IT, those being cloud technology, AI, IoT, security, and managed services. Insight is well positioned to service, give advice, and integrate these megatrends on behalf of their clients. The company has seen tremendous operating efficiency over the last five years with a sales kegger of 5%, an operating income kegger of 12%, and a diluted earnings per share kegger of 20%. Insight used to be a traditional reseller of hardware but transitioned in the mid-2000s to IT services and tra transitioned again in 2017 to intelligent technology services. Over the next few years, Insight is adding more services to their revenue stream, thereby increasing margins. Insight also puts their clients at the forefront of everything that they do. This has earned them a number of awards over the years, but in 2020 alone, they have won the following awards. 2020 U.S. Customer Experience Partner of the Year from both Amazon, from both Microsoft and Cisco. 2020 U.S. Partner of the Year from Microsoft. Worldwide Customer Experience Partner of the Year from Microsoft. Due to the growing IT industry, the commit. Insight's commitment to continued growth, their ability to strategically shift, and their strong customer focus, it is recommended that Insight Enterprises be added to the AIM Equity Fund with a price target of $86.47, representing a potential upside of greater than 44%. The first driver that I'm going to touch on is their digital expansion. Insight has made substantial investments into its technological capabilities over the last five years. This increases the firm's ability to lead clients to the right technology solution via digital engagement, internal research, and other published content. This helps Insight attract and retain clients. By growing their digital marketing capabilities, including the renovation of their website, Insight is better able to reach companies with different technological capabilities. Since the site renovation and digital expansion, traffic to their site has increased 128%, Live chats have grown 550% year over year from their 2019 Q3, and 75% of new sales were touched by their digital marketing strategy, and over 60% of chat functionality has turned into new customer sales. The second driver I want to touch on is the consumer demand. The top three concerns that businesses have regarding their technology for the next three to five years are security, modernizing their data platforms, and adapting their IT governance to hybrid or multi-cloud environments. The solutions that Insight offers answer the questions that businesses across the globe are asking themselves. Not only do the consumers have concerns about the technological necessities of the future, but 73% also buy bundled products and services, with 86% saying that they plan to do so in the next few years. By 2022, it's estimated that 72% of companies will still not have made the strategic shift to cloud technology, and only 18% of companies will have a fully automated IT procurement process. This represents a large majority of companies in which the service in which are need are in need of the services Insight offers. 
Insight can offer them both the products and the services necessary to expand or adapt techno technological advances necessary to scale their business. The third driver to discuss is the commercial market acceleration that Insight is experiencing. Insight serves, in general, the enterprise, commercial, and public sectors, commercial being the one that has the least amount of technological advancement. In 2019, Insight acquired PCM Inc., which has augmented their com commercial business offerings. Before the acquisition, the sales mix was 72% enterprise, 15% commercial, and 13% public. The pro forma, or with PCM, sales mix is 66% enterprise, 21% commercial, and 13% public, with the increase in commercial sales being due to the acquisition with commercial incremental revenues of $879 million that PCM brought over. PCM has given Insight a broader reach in the middle market, tripled their workforce in Canada, and added new service to Insight's UK business. To value the company, a DCF was constructed using a WAC of 7.56% and a long-term growth rate of 1%, producing an intrinsic value of $75.54. A sensitivity analysis was conducted ranging from $88.08 to $66.36. A price to book multiple of 2.64 times was used, producing an intrinsic value of $85.38. An enterprise value to sales multiple of 0.59 times was used, producing an intrinsic value of $129.65. Finally, an enterprise value to EBITDA multiple of 10.31 was used, producing an intrinsic value of $87.80. By weighing these four multiples, 40%, 25%, 10%, and 25% respectively, a price target of $86.47 was reached, representing a potential upside of over 44%. Insight does not pay a dividend. The three primary risks to the company are the integration of acquisitions, the work from home situation, and their partner reliance. Insight acquired PCM last year and recently announced the acquisition of VNext. Even though Insight has a great track record of integrating acquisitions, any failure to integrate PCM or VNext could negatively impact operating results. Excuse me. During the pandemic, Insight has realized a decline in hardware sales as a result of personnel no longer being in the office. If the work from home situation continues at length, the company's operating results could be negatively impacted. Insight relies on manufacturers, publishers, and distributors for their products, with approximately 61% of purchases being made from the top five partners. If any of those partnerships were to be disrupted, it could negatively impact operating results. Management of this company is experienced and has a long tenure with the company. They have seen the company through its first transition into IT services and the second transition to intelligent te technology services. Kenneth Lamnek has been President, CEO, and Director since 2010, while Glennis Bryan has been CFO since 2007. Thank you so much for tuning in to my pitch, and please ask any questions that you might have in the discussion section of D12. I'm looking forward to answering all the questions that you have there and tomorrow during um, class time. Thanks!